I've done it. I finally created the smallest dentures in the... <laughs> what are you guys doing? I told you not to sneak up on me. One today's video, you guys have tagged me in this video a ton of this crocodile having all these weird teeth issues and some dentist has to go in and save it. So we're going to go through the video, see the craziness that unfolds, and I'm going to try and explain it as best as I can. So let's get into it. Saltwater Croc Riley needs an urgent jaw examination. First question is, is how does this veterinarian, how does one know that a crocodile needs a jaw examination? Are you just like all up in there enough that you were like, hey, I noticed you had a bad tooth the other day. Time to call the tooth doctor for your crocodile. I'm confused on that one. Oh, there's a girl there's in there bonzo. as well. There's actually another croc in there. Yeah, there's two. Oh. So you're telling me I have to get into the mouth of a crocodile, but now I have to do it while a girl is watching? He's gonna show off and probably try and eat me and bring it back to her as a snack. Dang, look at that thing. Do you guys ever realize that crocodiles are straight up dinosaurs, like legit river monsters? That's wild. Hey, 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 settle down. You stop teasing, Riley, you give him that chicken. Oh, I see it. He's got some nasty green plaque, which probably happens, you know, because you're an alligator, but it looks like he also has some impacted teeth down here. It's interesting. In Riley's case, with a hole like that, my concern is a serious infection could be taking hold of his body. And that's so true. In humans, it's the same thing as well. That's why we tell you not to leave an infection forever because that infection will go down into the bone. It will expand and become a huge abscess and swelling. This is actually what it looks like if you have a swelling abscess. It's pretty nasty. It's huge. You don't want it to swell because it can cause a lot of problems and even ruin the teeth next to it. But first, Chris needs to assemble a large specialist team and come up with a plan. Is this like a normal occurrence for these guys? Like, I feel like this is not a normal thing to do to surgery on a crocodile. I could be wrong though. Crocodiles, once they're stressed, build up a lot of lactic acid. That lactic acid can make their body just too acidic and ultimately it can shut down all their organs and kill them. So fun fact, lactic acid is what builds up in your muscles when you work out. That's why you get sore. So apparently for us, it's okay. But for crocodiles, I guess it kills them. So I guess you're not gonna see any bodybuilding crocodiles out there. But the risk now is that the monster croc goes into a death roll in an attempt to escape. If oh. Riley rolls, start off with, tap on. <laughs> That's all you need, you just cover his eyes, you're good. You're, go ahead and go in, you're good. All right, everyone get to your jumping positions. Jumping so, position. Three. Go, 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 go! <laughs> yeah, oh wait, what? I didn't know we were playing tackle here. How many guys we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guys straight up. This crocodile probably like, what the heck is going on, man? Numerous saltwater crocodiles have died in this very situation. I swear, if you kill Riley, I'm coming for you. It's important that I now get some sedation into Riley. I wonder what they're using. Like, they got to be using full two and a half syringes worth of a drug called midazolam. Oh, <laughs> midazolam? Two and a half syringes of that bad stuff? That basically just going to knock that sucker out. It's like a giant muscle relaxer, like hardcore. Okay, we're in. This Ooh. is Chris's first chance to get a good look at Riley's jaw. You know, that's so funny because when we work on you guys, when you're anesthetized, we actually have to have bite blocks as well. It looks like they put a giant bite block in here to hold open the crocodile's mouth. We do the exact same thing. This is what a dental bite block looks like. So it holds your mouth open so we can work on you while you're asleep. So I wonder if they're going to numb up the area using like epinephrine or anything like that. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to try for some local here. Ah, so there you go. He is using a local anesthetic, which is normally epinephrine based. And what that does is it basically just makes the nerve endings not work for a while. And so it makes the area numb. And it looks like he's using it in here. Now, one thing you do have to worry about is if you have a ton of infection, the anesthetic doesn't work that well. And so you have to use extra and maybe even different means of doing it. So let's see if this is enough to keep this croc happy. Because it hasn't been reabsorbed, it's tried to find its own space and pushed into the side. Then another one looks like it's coming as well. So we've got multiple teeth all trying to go through the one socket. So it looks like crocodiles do continually just get new teeth as they age. Now in a human, fun fact, we do the same thing. It's just we only have one extra set. So we have the baby teeth, we lose those, and then our permanent teeth come in. So we're kind of like crocodiles, but not really. Riley's tried to replace a tooth that just hasn't fallen out yet. Mm. He hasn't just done it once. He's done it multiple times. This has now become okay. serious crocodile dental excavation. So it looks like he's using a dental elevator here. It's basically a sharp edge scalpel. And we use these in regular dentistry too when we take out a teeth. So basically your teeth are attached to your bone by all these little bungee cords called PDL fibers. And basically what we have to do is we go in there with a sharp instrument and we cut all of those cords away from your teeth. So when we go remove the teeth, it's not stuck to the bone anymore and it's really wiggly and easy to come out. So it looks like that's what he's trying to do right now is get around there and cut all those fibers out and just loosen up the teeth and see if he can get them out. Surprisingly very similar to regular dentistry. Oh, there it is. Look this is the most gunky boy. Four of them. Oh, there we go. So there's, 
That is a tooth that's tried to be reabsorbed, but it's actually remained. You know, fun fact, we actually see this in baby teeth too. Sometimes the baby teeth don't reabsorb very well. And so your permanent tooth ends up coming out weirdly. And sometimes we see permanent teeth come out in all sorts of weird directions because the baby tooth is blocking it and hasn't absorbed. That's why we have to pull the baby teeth sometimes early to make room for the permanent teeth. Oh, yeah. So now he's using a hemostat. A hemostat is basically something that just grabs oh, on and holds on. Oh, I just wanna see how loose it is. It looks like there's even he's more in there. He's removed a staggering three teeth from the hole in Riley's mouth. And he's hoping this should be the last of the problem teeth. So what happens is when you have that infection on one tooth, it normally goes into the bone and spreads. And if it spreads for too long, it actually eats away the bone holding in the tooth next to it. So you can lose multiple teeth from one tooth infection. That's why we tell you to get it done right away because we don't want any other teeth to be hurt. Each and every tooth that comes through the same socket is a little bit bigger than the last. Woo! Oh, geez. Whoa! Go, That's huge. Okay, so in a dental way, after we remove a teeth at this point, we would basically scoop and make sure that the hole is clean and then we flush it out with some type of cleanser and then we would seal it up. So let's see how accurate it is to what they do in a crocodile. Oh, look okay. at that. So he's got, <laughs> and look at that. Back. He looks like he's trying to go well, in and make sure it's all cleared up. out. And it looks like he is doing some type of soap or bleach or hydrox hydrogen hole. peroxide solution. One last thing I forgot to mention is if you have an infection, not only do we remove the teeth, but we got to give you some type of antibiotic. So I would assume they might have even given him some antibiotics when they gave him the first shot. I would assume they would give him some antibiotics at some point. Brace yourselves, guys. An antibiotic injection completes Woo! Right treatment. <laughs> Call me an expert, bro. That's why I went to college, so I knew exactly what's happening next. Hey, next time you find a crocodile that needs help, I got you. You would think that now the dental issue's been taken care of, our work here is done. But oh no, we still have to release Riley. I forgot about that. You gotta get the bad boy back in the water, don't you? I'm assuming you just reverse the steps of how you caught the alligator. Go. One, two. With his new small. Everybody get off. Imagine me and the last guy and they don't tell you. I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty clean. That was pretty clean. They've done this before. It's unbelievable. Look at this. Straight away, his girlfriend. Oh, Say what's yeah, up, baby. Guy. He said, what up, girl? You peep my new smile. <laughs> so surprisingly, crocodiles are actually really similar to humans as far as the way dental works. I uh, commend Riley for being such a champ. And also that vet was a beast as well. I'm gonna have to look into uh, some veterinarian things because I would like to go treat some crocodiles myself. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to subscribe or else have crooked teeth for life. Peace!